Hi, in this video we will see how to control some electrical devices from your home browser. So here I am using the ESP8266 E12 Wi-Fi module and that is connected to the relay module. I am using four relay modules so that is uh, only available uh, with me. So that's the reason I am using this type. Uh, with this uh, ESP8266 module you can control up to nine devices. So you can also use uh, up to 9 relay or 8 relay module so I have powered the relay with the 9 volt battery and I have powered the Wi-Fi module with the 3.3 volt uh, power supply and here, here I have connected the 4 lights to the Wi-Fi module uh, sorry uh, to the relay module here you can see that I have connected the 4 uh, lights so here the 4 lights uh, let's see uh, the program for this so here so this is the program that I've um, used for the Wi-Fi module the good uh, the good thing about the this Wi-Fi module the, is that we don't need any Arduino or the, any other microcontroller to support the Wi-Fi module so here I so this is my SSID that is my Wi-Fi name and this is my Wi-Fi password so uh, you have to be very careful with this so mm, then so I am using the 5678 as the GPIO output that is so the this is uh, these are the pins I'm using that is GPIO 13 uh, GPIO 12 and GPIO 14 and GPIO 15 uh, these four pins I'm using so here you can see the program for this uh, we use 5, 6, 7, 8 uh, pins uh, you can use any other pins as you want uh, so I s there is no specific reason for using this pins so this is a uh, this program line is to connect with the home server and once it is connected to the home server you can access uh, four uh, buttons that is for turning on the light on and off and this gives the command as on one on two on three on four if you press the off button it will give command as off one off two off three off four so here you can see so if the number matches so then the respective uh, pin goes to low or high depending on the input command that is from the web page server so that's it uh, it's a very simple program you can write uh, this is called a Lua uh, program and so if your model comes with the uh, already preloaded uh, Lua firmware so if you want to upgrade any uh, program for uh, firmware for you you can download this so this you can download from the node mco flasher so you can go to flasher and download for your either you are using windows 32 or windows 64 release and once you download the uh, flasher you can download the pre-built that is the firm where so are you I'm using the latest so the node MCU latest firm I'm using so all you have to do is to download the node MCU firmware and go to the config and select that node MCU firmware open node MCU and then the pre-builds go to the latest and select the latest and you have to connect the Wi-Fi uh, module uh, with any um, FTDI chips so this COM port will be auto detect by the programmer and you can see uh, the process that is going on in the log file so once you select that uh, config just go and flash the <coughs> uh, ESP module that is a Wi-Fi module once you're done with the firmware uploading all you have to do is to just program this and 
press the save to ESP button so that it will program to the uh, see here I have already programmed here and my Wi-Fi module is connected to the home server and I have to access the uh, web server page at this IP address so here you can see that 192.168.0.103 this is my IP address I can access the web page here So here the web page 192.168.0.103 so this is the web server I have created this is a program that I used in the node MCO uh, so from there are plenty of examples that comes with this so you can use this so I use the Lua examples like this one the web page toggle pin I used uh, this one and modified the program so that I can use four buttons to control the pins so here you can see I am using the four pins so this is a web server buttons so this is what I have created there and you can check your Wi-Fi <coughs> module that is connected to your home server so here the unknown this is my Wi-Fi module and this is connected to the IP address here so the same IP address I have to use to access the input pins <coughs> so I'm going to turn on the power supply turn down everything <coughs> so you can see the lights so the second one the red third one and the fourth one Turn off, turn off, turn off. <coughs> the good thing about this uh, web server page is that you can access from any mobile that is connected to your home Wi Fi network. So here you can see that. I'm accessing the same from my Nokia mobile so here I can control the lights from the mobile too so uh, if you have uh, many uh, Wi-Fi based mobile you can control your electrical lights or any other devices from your home server so this is one of the examples of ESP8266 hope you like it uh, if you like my videos uh, please share and subscribe to my channel thank you